All right, so I wanted to use this video as an opportunity since the news has come out that Joker has basically has passed up uh, that billion dollar box office milestone. Now, I already did a video discussing how it become it will it, it will it's now the most profitable comic book movie when you consider the percentage of uh, money that it makes in proportion to how much they spent. But I wanted to do some compare and contrast because there, this is big. This is a big deal. And this billion dollar deal is a uh, very impressive. Now I've had Marvel. I hate to call them fanboys and girls, but there are people that aren't objective at all when it comes to, whether or not these movies are good and measuring the different types of success when it comes to these, um, th these characters. And again, the, and in these movies, right. For whatever reason, we live in this world where people feel like they have to take sides on DC and Marvel, which that's not really new, but when it comes to movies, you certainly see it with the Marvel cinematic universe. It's like, People feel threatened by it. Like if the DC, if DC has good movies, people feel threatened by it. So they'll do everything they can to discredit it. And this is why I always take the people, even access media. I think they in the pockets of a lot of these Marvel Cinematic or Disney, if you will, um, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, because it, they're not objective, even when criticizing some of the previous movies that have come out among the DC universe. Um, I just don't think it's fair. Now, I did want to compare the billion dollar milestone, if you will, to Captain Marvel and, and the Joker, the Joker movie. They're both different. They're different type of billions. Yes, they both are over a billion dollar and they're going to make over a billion dollars. But it's different in the context of of what they were able to accomplish and how it was done. There's two different aspects that I want to want you guys to take into consideration. First. Joker, though obviously more known about as a character when it comes to just comparing that to Captain Marvel. Most people didn't know who Captain Marvel was and Carol Danvers being Captain Marvel. They didn't know really who it was until the Marvel Cinematic Universe announced there would be a movie about it. This is why nobody asked for this movie. Nobody asked for this movie, right? But it did happen, and a lot of people didn't know about it until it happened. Didn't know about the character until it happened, right? So, yes, Joker has a nod in the sense that we know who the character is because it's arguably Batman's most notable villain. But when you take into consideration what Captain Marvel has behind it, or had behind it versus what Joker had behind it. I think the billion dollar Joker film is way more impressive. Now, obviously it's, we know the, the budget for the film is a big part of that, right? The budget for Captain Marvel was around 152 to 175 million. According to these numbers that I'm looking at now, and as far as the, the film, the Joker film, they only spent 55 to 70. So you're looking at over $100 million alone being spent uh, on, on the budget in terms of how much the film made, right? If I got that right, if I got that correct. Um, yeah, I believe, I believe, yeah, that's where we're at. I'm not that good at math, y'all forgive me. So 55 versus 155 to... 70 something, 170 something million. But it's not just that. I've talked about how this movie, the Captain Marvel movie, was going to be successful and it had absolutely nothing to do with whether the movie was going to be good or not. And it had absolutely nothing to do with what people felt about the character. This is why I told people that hated the, the character so much to the point to where maybe the promotion behind the character. They hated it so much that they were willing to go out on a limb and say it was going to do bad. You can go look at my old videos. I told them they were stupid. 
even if we reached the same conclusion about the character, I told them they were stupid because there was no way in in any realm of possibility that that movie was going to fail. And it has everything to do with the fact that it had the Marvel Cinematic Universe backing it. And it was right. It was slid right after Endgame. Or excuse me, not Endgame, Infinity War. And right before Endgame. So the whole promotional scheme surrounding it was, okay, you have to see this movie because this character is so powerful. We got Kevin Feige talking about how powerful this character is, talking about they're one of the most she's one of the most popular characters in the comics and will be he literally says he she will be the most powerful character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's a pretty big deal, right? When you consider how Endgame ended. So you're incentivized to see it. It's not like um it, it's and it was a shoehorn cuz the character comes out of nowhere. It wasn't like, yes, we know that Ant-Man had his movie and, and whatnot, but Ant-Man was never promoted like, okay, Ant-Man is here to save the day. Captain Marvel was promoted as such, and it makes 100% sense as to why they put it where they put it because they wanted to ensure its success. It was genius on behalf of everybody that had everything to do with the Marvel Cinematic Universe because it ensured its success. It ensured its success. Marvel Cinema, I'm talking about, you're talking about the most climactic part of this entire universe. And you slide this character in and ev and you incentivize people to see it by talking about how powerful the character is and the role that they are going to play moving forward. That man, that character was never made to seem. First of all, it, it came out during the same promotional cycle as uh as Endgame. Really, Endgame, I believe, was still even not Endgame, Infinity War was still in theaters, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so it, it, it was, it, it wasn't like sort of what we had with the Captain Marvel situation, um, at all, like at all, it's not even comparable Captain Marvel. When you consider the way it was promoted and the way that success was ensured, considering where it was placed, it made every sense as to why it was going to be successful. And I knew it was going to be successful. I told y'all it was going to be successful, even though I thought that the character was goofy and didn't deserve a movie. Um, certain to this magnitude, right? And then I saw it, and then y'all know my thoughts about that. We're not even going to go back there. Joker, as notable as the character was, had no universe backing it whatsoever. Rated R film, not even... I mean, you're just talking about spending $55 million, which isn't a low just number, but when you consider how much it made, it is absolutely a low, low number. No universe backing it. Todd Phillips behind it. So it the only promotional scheme there was was that this is a Joker film. That's it. Joker is a rated R mature Joker film. And you can argue that that enough will incentivize that this is going to be great, right? Or incentivize people to see it. Yes. But that's... The fact that it had nothing backing it, like Marvel is a cash grab at this point in terms of the Marvel Cinematic Universe where anything was going to be successful. Certainly if they if they promoted it as if, all right, this is a big deal, guys, you got to see this. This is the most unique shoehorn. I have a video that's like 30 minutes, over 30 minutes long, like uh, talking about the unique shoehorn of Captain Marvel. That's the literal name of the video. You can go watch that. What happened with Captain Marvel was unique. Nothing else was like it done in, in, that, um, in that Marvel Cinematic Universe. No other character. It was a completely unique shoehorn. You can go watch that video. But there's another thing that not a lot of people aren't talking about when it comes to this. And this is this little deal going on. If I could get there right here. Chinese box office, which that's a lot of money. They made back from China what they spent on the film. With Captain Marvel. So or it doesn't even hit the billion dollar market mark if it doesn't have China. If you can see, if you look at it like that. Joker, on the other hand, as we've talked about, they didn't rely on the on the Chinese market. You can't like there, there's virtually uh, no Chinese market in terms of um, money they're making off the box office. 
And we talked about this in the video that I did, how I didn't rely on it on, on China. This is what makes it so impressive that they're they're able to basically hit the one billion dollar mark without having not relied upon the Chinese market like the other comic book films have had to do. This is why they sort of alter and adjust what happens in the movies and uh, even with some of the characters and how, how they're handled because they got to take into consideration what's going down with, uh, you know, making sure that they, you know, ensure the success with it's just more people in China. So it's easy, right? Joker didn't rely upon that at all. So when you take those two things into consideration, one's billion dollar is more impressive. And this is why it's a big deal that people are talking about it versus the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And it's not to say that it's not impressive that they're making a billion dollars on their films. Like, absolutely it is. It is. It just really goes to show the foundation that they've been able to lay over the 10-year period. But it's different. All, all it's, it's, you know, you can argue that, yes, a billion-dollar marker is still a billion-dollar marker. But when you look at it in context... Joker is, is way more impressive in comparison to Captain Marvel. Way more impressive. Now, I'm also not saying that the movies are good or bad. Determined, It's determined by how much it makes. I don't necessarily agree with that. Um, I think there's plenty of films that I personally think are par, subpar even, that have made a lot of money, that have also been very profitable. Um, so I'm not trying to say that one's better than the other solely based on what it did. I'm just talking about the billion dollar mark with the both with both films. They're different. They're not. It's not the same. It's not the same billion dollar when you consider the context and what I just said. So I wanted to do this video just to sort of give you guys some perspective, because I know there's going to be people that talk about. Captain Marvel and maybe even some of the other films in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. What Joker did as a standalone film with virtually no universe is far more impressive. You can argue than any other of the successes in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, period. When you take it into context, like this is Joker's billion dollars is very, very impressive um, and certainly more impressive than Captain Marvel.